Back on the Big 550 KTRS. Time for a little movie talk. Now, you may not have known this, but there's a movie out there about Belleville. And uh, we've got some folks involved in the movie here with us in studio. Let's see. Uh, Cooper Shaw, Bill Finkbeiner, thanks for joining us today. Appreciate you being here. Tell us why Belleville. Tell us about the movie. Ah, do you want to start? Um, can we start <laughs> why Belleville about the movie? Well, uh, the big reason why Belleville is that the uh, producer and one of the stars of the movie, Ted Trent, actually grew up in Belleville, and he wanted to tell – a story similar to something that you know went on in his family in a place that he knew. Uh, Ted's been out in Los Angeles for a while now, right? Um, yeah. He was mm-hmm. Acting, um, producing, and things, and he fell out of like kind of like in love <laughs> with the whole show business thing. Started doing some real estate work out there, made a good amount of money. He's like, well, instead of working on other people's projects, I'm going to produce my own. And he was able to follow his heart since he produces all of his own things. So he took his heart back to his home. Now, I read that it's a kind of a cross between Starman and Forrest Gump. Would that be? Kind that's, of a a really good, that's a really good like really good description. <laughs> that's a really good description, actually, yeah. Um, and it is also uh, the story of a farmer um, who's a, sort of a, been a bit reclusive since his wife passed away, and then this man from another far away place Mm -hmm. comes to town and befriends him and sort of brings him out of his shell and reinstills in him the importance of community and that we all need each other to get through things and yeah so it's it's sort of a love story in sort of a cosmic way in a cosmic way yes that's a really great way to say it with belleville as the background yeah so so this is this interests me does is it common in the movie industry to go out to L.A., you, you want to be a big star, you go out there, you're working as a waiter, waitress, whatever, you, you, you get your chance, you get involved in the industry, and then, and then you're just like, eh, I want to go do something else. And then you come back. Is there something about Hollywood, something about L.A. when you, you get out there and you get involved that, that it just keeps pulling you back? Hmm. That's an interesting one. I think uh, what's really going on um, with Ted and uh, Dan Stedman, who's the – director and the writer is the fact that they still are very active out there in los angeles it's just that production costs out there are astronomical Mm -hmm. Uh, there's obviously um great talents all across the country and so what they're doing is is they're able to produce really great work at a much smaller budget by coming back to the midwest to do it they're still very in tune (laughs) and part of the show business world in los angeles they just are following more of what they want to do they get to make all their own decisions they don't have a studio saying no your movie's going to get cut like this They're like right. no my movie gets cut the way i see it and they can follow their own visions that yeah way. yeah yeah it's a great thing about independent film actually is that you can tell the stories that really are meaningful to your heart and soul without having the big budget studios sort of dictating okay so what are your characters i'm looking at the at the um the the trailer and cooper are you a um a waitress I mean, no um, <laughs> I don't. <laughs> no, I don't know. I don't know. So my character's name is Arlene. What does I? You know, it, she doesn't really do anything. <laughs> she, I mean, like you know, job wise, she doesn't really work. I think. Um, <laughs> she's, she's, she's too much of a busybody. To she's have a too job. much of a busybody oh. to have a job. Yeah. So she's the town baddie, basically. Mrs. So Kravitz, the, kind of, or yeah. That's exactly what I was. Yeah. Thinking. So Ooh. she's the. Um, Cooper, was this a stre- <laughs> was this a stretch for you, acting wise? Uh, yeah. <laughs> just, just what I mean, you know. No, it really was because, like, she's she's basically the sourpuss in the film. She's the one, <laughs> the one character who's like nasty and hates everything and hates everybody and wants to ruin the world and it's just a, a like a so <laughs> like so not in my like wheelhouse. Of- things it sounds like so, you're cracking up over your own character I, yeah no, yeah yeah definitely <laughs> and bill what is your role i am um belleville police officer scott uh my role isn't like extremely large in the film but it's fairly pivotal because um arlene has kind of sent me out to kind of cause a little bit of a stir with willie you know could have actually probably got her for filing a false report or something <laughs> right but i guess that would be you know in the sequel right yeah <laughs> 
Did you did you actually have to for those who are watching the live streaming? Did you shave your head to be more like a cop, or is that just you? No, um, I this is just me. What's funny is I live down in South City, and so whenever I'm standing in a checkout line, all I hear is "You the police," <laughs> <laughs> and it's when when you're when you're an actor, they always say you know you got to find your brand, you got to find your niche because you have to be something very specific so they know where to put you in films. You know, we all have wide range of what we can do, but if they don't look at you and say, you know, what can you do, you know, see what you can do right away, it's a little difficult for them to, like, cast you. So for me, finding my brand is really easy. All I have to do is stand in the checkout line of the local Walgreens or something, and everybody will tell me what my brand is. <laughs> so for, for you, both of you being uh, local actors, was this a real sort of – uh, opportunity to be able to do some some movie acting without having to travel. Do you have to travel a lot frequently for work, or or do you do most of your work uh, within the region? Um, well, lately, most of the work that I've been doing has been within the region, which has actually been really lovely for me because um, I lived away from St. Louis for a number of years. I was living in New York and doing the New York actor thing, and of course bartending and you know <laughs> all those things that you do when you're acting in New York, and um. Moved back here because I'm from here originally and my family is still here. So the lovely thing about so much work coming my way here is that I've been able to stay close to my mom and my aunts and uncles and cousins and all of that. So And this movie um, premieres April 21st, April 22nd, April 22nd. At, Lincoln, at the Lincoln Theater in, in Lincoln. Belleville. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yes, it's going to be an actual huge, like, you know, red carpet event. They've mm -hmm. got a lot of local press that are going to be there. There's going to be the cameras flashing and things like that. Definitely as much coverage as possible. Um, so if people want to, like, come and experience something like that, uh, I believe the red carpet sort of things are going to start around 5, 30, 6 o'clock. Mm -hmm. uh, the early show, I think, is sold out, but there's still a show, I believe, around 10 o'clock on the 22nd that is still open. It's going to be showing throughout the entire week. The best thing to go do is go to uh, BellevilleMovie.com or else like Belleville the Movie on Facebook and you get links to the website. And then there's yeah. a link for all the different showings. There are two very cool showings coming up at uh, Werenberg's Ronnie's. Yes. That's a really big thing. Um, you know, Werenberg is a huge St. Louis institution and Ronnie's is my favorite place to go see movies because <laughs> they got ski ball. But the, <laughs> yes, because they have ski ball, and they have those little cars that you. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. So you good ski ball player. Um, you no. take on the kids. You go in and, and. No, I take on my girlfriend who kicks my butt every time. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, the biggest thing about that is the fact that it's a good thing because it's going to show. I believe what you know the dates because I just forgot them. It's uh, Sunday the twenty. The twenty seventh and twenty eighth. Yes, two o'clock. Ronnie's. Yeah, two o'clock in the afternoon on Sunday. And then um, the uh, 28th is 7 o'clock at, at 7 night. The money that's being raised through the screenings at the Lincoln Theater and at um, Ronnie's is actually going to be used to be put into a movie that they're filming this next summer over in the Belleville area. Yeah. Like they're holding auditions at the Lincoln Theater, I mm -hmm. believe, um, the entire week after the 22nd for that. And also, we need some support because the fact that Warrenberg is going to look at the numbers for the different screenings over at Ronnie's. If they can sell both of those out, there is a very, very good chance that Belleville the movie will be seen at Warrenberg theaters throughout the Midwest. So there's yeah. something produced yeah. here in the St. Louis metro area featuring a lot of people from the St. Louis metro area mm -hmm. yes. that can be spread throughout the Midwest so that people can get an eye back on St. Louis. We had... Uh, what, two films that were filmed in Missouri, of course, up in the air here in St. Louis, and then down in the Ozarks, they had Winner's Bone, Winter's Bone. both nominated uh -huh. for Academy Awards. Yeah. The year after that, they shut down the, the uh, Missouri Film Office. Yeah. They took away right. the tax credits. And right. so a lot of great work is now going to New Orleans and Detroit and things, but there's an initiative on the ballot to bring all of that back soon. If we can support what we're doing around here, there's a great chance that yeah. film office is going to be active <laughs> again. The tax credits will come back, and amazing work can come back to St. Louis. I just saw John Hamm on the TV over there, so, you know, St. Yeah. Louis and acting uh -huh. is pretty much like something that has been going on for a great <coughs> amount of time, and it's going to be great to try to bring the world back to it again. Yeah. Is, is, are, are, are most of the actors involved in the Belleville movie local, regional, or uh, is it a mix between local folks and folks from L.A. or wherever? Uh, they brought w a couple of people from L.A., but most of the cast is local, either from the St. Louis area or from the Belleville area. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, That's it awesome. is. So it is important to support 
the movie. Also, it, see the movie. Get as many people as you can to see this movie so it can be seen regionally. Yes, absolutely. And, and one another. more very important question, because as Kelly knows, this weekend I'm going down to uh, my, my wife's family uh, lives on a farm in Ozark County. Uh, down Winter's Bone area down oh, yeah. in South Central Missouri. Mm-hmm. So here's the important question based on Belleville movie. Mm-hmm. When I'm when I'm at the farm this weekend and I'm sitting out on, on my mother-in-law's deck looking over the, 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 the cattle and the rolling hills, how do I know if some otherworldly being <laughs> is showing up <laughs> on the farm? What What happens so that I can prepare myself for that experience? Hmm. Interesting one. So you weren't ready he for that. He stumped you for that. I know. I was going to say, yeah. as soon as some stranger starts talking to you about love and how beautiful everything is, <laughs> yes, and uh, you've never met this person before, might That's a good sign. Good sign. It might be. Yeah. Stranger danger. Or, stranger yeah, or they possibly reek of patchouli. That could be a yeah. problem. Yeah. Yeah. Patchouli. Yeah. 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 Yeah, that can also be a problem. Co- Cooper Shaw, Bill Fink- Finkbeiner, thank you very much for coming in today. Belleville... Movie, the Belleville, the movie, Belleville movie, just Belleville. What's it called? Bell, the movie is called Belleville. Belleville. The website is Belleville oh, movie, movie or Belleville the movie. You can also find it on Facebook and yep. on Twitter. It's at Belleville movie. And so that's a way to be in touch with all of those things. Definitely um, like it on Facebook. Uh, follow them on Twitter because that is actually very big for people who might want to distribute it. The more yeah. likes you have, they know a lot of people are interested in seeing yeah. it. The more followers, they know that there's a great chance. They can get a return on their investment in, pro- in promoting the movie. Absolutely. Awesome. Let's support local actors, local film. Looking forward to it. You're listening to The Big 550 on KTRS. Tony Messenger filling in for McGraw-Mill